I'm Carrie Ann Stevenson and I'm with the News Load. Hi everyone, my name is Reese Devera. I'm with Green City Aquaponics, founder and operator. And we are working on Meatless Mondays today. I think that's such a fabulous idea, guys. And I think like sometimes it can be a little bit too difficult to find out, you know, what to do. And that's really the purpose right now is to give you guys an idea of yeah. what to do. Yeah. Um, sometimes cutting out a little meat is uh, good for your budget, but also good for your health to be able to choose alternatives. And we're very excited to talk about Nuts for Cheese, which is a local London business run by Margaret Coons, a local female business mm -hmm. owner. And uh, I'd, I'd love to talk about some ideas you have to use for this cheese. You know what, for me, I don't know about you guys, but I really love the idea of something simple. You know, something like a charcuterie board or even like a cheese board, right? And I think having, a, a, for a meatless Monday anyway, I think a really good combination would be between like a vegan cheese, like nuts for cheese, and then some of the microgreens and shoots that we offer uh, with Green City Aquaponics. So we can start by talking about the brie here. It's something a little bit more mild, uh, this brie over here. And when we're talking about like something a little bit mild, then we probably want to add something a little bit more to it. And I think that addition of something a little bit nutty would be a good addition to that one. So something like a sunflower, like these guys over here. Um, sunflower is a, it's a really nice product because um, it has this beautiful texture to it. It's buttery, it's smooth, it's nutty. And like having the, that added texture and flavor profile in addition to the texture of the cheese, I think that would be a really good uh, combination together. Sounds delicious and so healthy. Mm -hmm. I think um, the uh, herb and garlic uh, artichoke and herb uh, cashew product uh, would be really fascinating to be able to have uh, a little bit of flavor and and you know addition to just a, a, a plain cheese experience. And mm -hmm. I genuinely love the idea of, um, I love the sweetness of pea shoots. So if I was to choose on a lovely cracker right. and this, um, this artichoke and herb and then some pea shoots, I think that would be a flavor combination. Oh, I, I completely agree with that one. That's an excellent choice there. And let's talk about the, uh, the black garlic. Um, so this one again as, as well is a fermented cashew product. So now with the black garlic, you know, of course like there will be quite a bit of umph to it. And I don't know if you guys have had black garlic, but for me anyway, I always like to have uh, something that is a little bit peppery associated with it. And that's why I would definitely choose something like a radish trio. Radish in general, it's quite peppery. But also, like if, if you're looking at this, like it has that black as well as the white, and then adding a little bit of that confetti coloring by the radish trio. I mean, come on. Yeah, right? it would be a beautiful combination visually and in your in your mouth with the with the garlic and the and the sweetness of the of the microgreens. Uh, but I do find the radish is has a bit of a bite to it. It is quite peppery. It so is right. So it would really. Um, combine with the garlic so smoothly. I do agree. Yeah, no, completely. Yes. All right, so we've got a cheddar one here as well. I mean, for you, Carrie, like, what would you uh, pair this with? Well, I find chipotle has a little bit of a spice to it. Mm -hmm. So I think just a gentle um, uh, sunflower seed uh, or sunflower um, shoot would be you know, with the sweetness mm -hmm. to go with a little bit of spice uh, right. to be able to smooth it out in, in the combination and the flavoring experience. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this one is already yellow, but with that spicy nature of, of that cheese, I think a little bit something sweet would be amazing too, right? So good choice. I would say that definitely is a good one, but we also do offer the, uh, the popcorn uh, shoots. Right, that one has that very distinct sweet flavor of what a corn would be, 
And I think that would be another good combination with that one in addition to the sunflower. I agree. I'm a big fan of the corn microgreens. Yeah? Okay, I'm happy to hear that one. Okay, so now for the last one, we've got the uh, super blue. Uh, so this one would be a blue cheese, of course. Flavoring. Oh, bl blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, like it, it's not actually a blue cheese. Oh, it's yeah, vegan. sorry. Yeah, I got, I got confused there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it is still vegan, yes, but blue cheese flavoring. Now, for something like this, um, you know, any traditional blue cheese will definitely have that blue. So I think, again, like a nice contrast, but then something also mild and not necessarily detracting away from that flavor profile. I think something like red cabbage or a purple kohlrabi, something that is mild, something that is earthy. I believe that would be a really good combination with a blue cheese. Yeah. And it's so pretty. Right? That deep purple coloring, just I think that would be a really good contrasting two different colors with really good combination of flavors as well. It's so sweet, but there is a little bit of pepper with this as well. Yeah. And I think it would be very nice with the blue cheese flavoring. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. And all the colors, like the blue colors and then the purple. It would look really great on a charcuterie board. Right? I, I think so. Well, I am super impressed with um, Green City Aquaponics selection, and I also am so proud to promote local business, local women entrepreneurs, vegan products that are available in many stores in London, Ontario. This is the news load.